Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're going to take a look at um, quite a trendy topic that has been ringing in the web development world for a while, okay? So if you've been uh, working with JavaScript recently, um, you may be hearing one of these um, frameworks popping up in um, a day-to-day -day basis or weekly basis and um, that's the frameworks are uh, Angular, Ember, React, Vue.js, Meteor.js, okay? So these five frameworks must have popped up on your radar, even uh, maybe you just glanced at them or you read about them briefly. And um, yeah, so basically these frameworks are used to build web apps. So you may be um, tempted to, um, or you may be faced with a decision of whether you should use one of these to build your web application or your website, all right? IT in term to, uh, they're, they're pretty similar web apps and web application, but we're not gonna go into that discussion, right? But let's use one term and let's just stick to websites, okay? So whether you should use these frameworks to build your website, or basically this framework, I mean JavaScript frameworks, right? And the answer is it depends, okay? So if you're just going to be building stuff like blogs or uh, a document website, um, for example, um, a website like this that has just um, information that people want to read and um, not much interaction in terms of like um, there's no necessity to stay on one page, all right? In the sense that um, people are pretty okay clicking on this link and going to a different page. Um, so. You do not really need a web uh, framework to, uh, what I mean by web framework, JavaScript framework to build something like this, okay? But something that will be very conducive to um, building using a JavaScript framework is something like Facebook, okay? So there's a lot that goes on behind Facebook and instead of just pretty old JavaScript frameworks, but um, the front-facing app is pretty much um, something that's a good candidate to be built with a JavaScript framework because you need Facebook to be responsive, to snap, to be snappy. And if you click on a link, you do not want um, to be taken to a different page like we're doing here. You just want to stick on the same page, but then something changes on the um, page based on what you did, right? So something like that. But a blog like what I have here, laminsign.com, even though you can build it on um, using a JavaScript framework like Angular or Ember, but it's a lot of work that's not needed because one thing when you build with JavaScript frameworks you have to do something twice and what that is is your modeling of your data so if you have something like a blog or a list of blog posts you're gonna have to write it in the JavaScript side on the front end and then do it on the JavaScript um, the whatever backend framework you're using on the back end as well there's an exception to that which is Meteor.js wherein you do not have to write the logic twice but Meteor.js is an overkill for just writing a blog. You do not need Meteor.js to write a blog. Although you could absolutely use it to do so, but you do not need it. And I wouldn't suggest anyone to do it. And I know people don't like giving their opinions on stuff like that. But I am going to be one of those people who boldly stands and says, do not write your blog using Meteor.js unless... You're going to be paid tons of money to do it and uh, whoever's paying you adamantly demands on doing so and even so um i would suggest you to advise them to go another way and build it using another technology but if they insist hey why not you're gonna learn on it anyway but um yeah so that's um that brings us uh, to the end of this video and i hope that um this video was a bit informative and if everyone is anyone is hanging on um whether to use a javascript framework to build your website or not um, just remember if it's a complex website like Gmail and it needs interactivity and snappiness um, and staying on a single page um, yeah that's a good candidate for JavaScript frameworks but if it's something like just a blog just post and um, a list of posts and a single post like these you really do not need JavaScript framework for that okay so um, I thank you for watching I will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye